Welcome to Apps and Law. I'm Brett Burney. Today, I want to share three amazingly useful tips that will make you an iPad eye wizard. Mm. I call these practical productivity tips because they are so incredibly helpful into how you will incorporate the iPad into your practice every day. If you like these three tips, then stay tuned at the end for a brief announcement about a new course I'm launching called I Practice on an iPad. But first, the tips. Tip number one, close your eyes and let your iPad read to you. Do you ever get tired of staring at a screen, but you gotta read through some documents? Well, just sit back and relax. Close your eyes and let your iPad read to you. This is called speak selection, and it's part of the superb accessibility features in iOS. You'll need to turn it on first by going to Settings, General, Accessibility, and then Speech, and turn on Speak Selection. Now, pick a voice that tickles your fancy, a male or female, and a variety of accents, some of them you may have to download. Lately, I've been keen on Kate, uh, the enhanced Kate, from the UK, but Tessa from South Africa is also delightful. I also like to turn on highlight content so that the words are highlighted as Kate reads them to me, but uh, if you plan to close your eyes, I guess this doesn't matter too much. You should also play with the speaking rate slider to test out the voice you selected and how fast you want it to read speak selection read selected content speak selection speak selection read selected content keep it slow if you're just starting out you can always go to chipmunk speed later now go to an email or a web page or a document and simply select some text in the secondary pop-up menu you should now see a speak option yesterday Apple released the results for its 2017 fiscal third quarter, which ran from the 2nd of April, 2017 to the 1st of July. If you want to change the speed of the speaking rate, you'll need to go all the way back into settings, but I've got another quick tip for you on this. If you turn on speak screen here, you can swipe down from the top of the screen with two fingers and the iPad will start reading the page. iPhone JD, main. Index to prior posts, monthly archives, archive, 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 archives about me, about iPhone JD is the oldest and largest website for lawyers using iPhones and A iPad. small pop-up control panel offers controls right on the screen, including the speaking rate. The controls auto-hide themselves after a while and just tap the arrow on the left to bring them out again. The speak screen feature is great, but sometimes it will literally read everything on the screen. Sign in, park, company, Xerox. But you can tap that little fast forward button on the control panel to jump ahead to sections of text. Oh, and one more quick tip. If you're in Safari, go into reader mode. That's the little paragraph button up there in the URL box. This gets rid of all the menus and the ads and the other junk on the page. The speak screen feature works even better in this mode. What was it like to be at Xerox Park when Steve Jobs visited? Tip number two, paste the formatting, not the text. Now, I know many of you use the Microsoft Word app on your iPad, so I wanted to include a great tip for Word. This should work even if you do not have a subscription to Office 365. Most of you know how to copy text on the iPad. You tap and hold on a word, and you can move those little dots to the left and right to select the text that you want. Then you simply tap in another location to paste the text. But let's say that you don't care about the text and instead would like to copy the formatting from one section of text to another section. You go through the exact same motions to select and copy text. And a sub tip here, you can tap with one finger three times to select an entire paragraph. Now you tap the same copy button. Next, go select a sentence or paragraph that you want to look the same as the paragraph you just copied. But instead of hitting the paste button, which would copy the text, tap the paste format button. Your text won't change, but the formatting will mirror the section of text that you copied. Now this only works in Microsoft Word, but it can be an incredible time saver when you're editing a document. 
Tip number three, easy peasy print to PDF on the iPad. Now, some of you know the trick on your iPhone 6S or iPhone 7 or 7 Plus where you can use Force Touch or 3D Touch to create a PDF. And even though we don't have 3D Touch on the iPad, this trick is still possible and it's so incredibly easy. Let's say you want to create a PDF of an email you receive. You make like you're going to print the message which is under the reply arrow there. But instead of selecting a printer, place your thumb and finger on the print preview and spread them apart or zoom out or pinch out. And behold, what wizardry mm. did you see before your very eyes? It turns into a PDF file. Now you can use the share menu in the upper right corner to upload this PDF file to Dropbox. or open it in another app like PDF Expert so you can highlight text and annotate it. Or let's say you want to convert a web page into a PDF. Use the share menu to print it. Zoom out on the print preview and you have a PDF. Again, going into the reader mode in Safari gives you a cleaner PDF without all of the ads and junk. Now you can attach this to an email message to send to a colleague or a client or upload it to OneDrive. You can use this trick from the Notes app or virtually any app where you have the ability to print. It's even a good way to quickly export a note from Evernote to PDF. I've long used apps like PDF Provider and PDF Converter to convert files and text to PDF, and I still use those apps from time to time for their additional features. But this easy, built into iOS, print to PDF option is so incredibly handy. If you found these tips helpful, then you will learn a lot more in my new course called I Practice on an iPad. It's August 2017 right now, and I'm currently finishing up the course content, which should be completely done in just a couple of weeks. But you can pre-order the course right now and save some money. All the information is at www.ipracticeonanipad.com. That's all one word, ipracticeonanipad.com. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, and happy iPad.